So World Class for me has been one of the most emotionally but really rewarding programs that I've seen in South Africa. It's really about showing people how to drink less but better. World Class is an amazing platform to show versatility in uh, our fine spirits. This year we are looking at 56 countries internationally that are competing in this competition and the global finals are in September in our home country, Cape Town. So I think being the South African representative is more important and more fascinating this year than any other year at all. So the first challenge this week is what we call After Dark. And kind of like the name says, it's really about what happens after dark. Drink dynamics that promote depth and earthy, strong, rich characteristics. Okay, this is every year we're looking for invention. Obviously look for the great cocktails. Guys have got to know the classics, got to know the basics. But we're looking for invention. We're looking for great storytelling and great presentation. Point system is actually divided into different sections and different um, areas of criteria. So we have taste, aroma, expression of the spirit, presentation, style, technique, and creativity. Obviously you want a great tasting drink, but you also want to see the guys really showcase their skills and take risks. I think they have to have a little bit of everything. They've got to know the science, but they must also be engaging. Someone that has the ability to transport you to another world. I feel like I did alright. Um, I was nervous before, but at least the first challenge is over and done with. The nerves are gone, and we can just move forward from there. There's a lot of strong uh, contestants in us. I mean, we knew that from the start, and we just have to try and pull up our game and try and match everyone. At the end of the day, it's going to be very small margins and make a difference between the guys who win and the guys who sort of come second and third. The second challenge is the market challenge. Uh, the spirit that will be a hero during this challenge is Kettle One Vodka. The idea behind this challenge is that the contestants will be taken to a market. They will have a fixed time and budget to buy ingredients and also to buy vessels in which to serve their cocktail. They are also tasked with actually making two different cocktails. One which would be their twist or their spin on the traditional Bloody Mary. And the second one that would hero the market ingredients that they found at the market on the day. I think um, the whole point of the market challenge is to have no pre planning. So I think that's the whole essence of it. You can kind of get an idea of what you, you kind of want to do, but eventually that just goes out the window. And it's a case of grab as much as you possibly can for your 300 rand, and then whatever you don't need, you can always toss it aside afterwards. I think everything went well. I think the presentation was cool. Drinks tasted good as far as I'm concerned. The next challenge that I'm really excited about is the art of the digestive and aperitif challenge. One to really awaken the senses and excite the palate, and the other one's really to just tone down the evening and, and have something that's slow and easy to drink after. Tonight was the challenge I was most looking forward to. To be honest, I think it went as according to plan. I don't think I, I made as many mistakes as I have in other challenges. So it was a really cool challenge for myself. And the drinks that I made, I feel like everyone could enjoy them and they were good. I think the one that was the most fun of the night was probably the aperitif, which the judges got to paint and I asked Brent Terrymore, a good friend of mine and the judge as well, to shake the cocktail, which was an amazing honour. So I think they had a lot of fun with that one. I had a lot of fun teapot throwing my digestive cocktail. So all in all, I think it's happiness all around. Eh? The progression that we've seen is amazing. For the last four years, it has been this steady climb to the raising the bar. I'm incredibly impressed with the six competitors right now. This is my first time here in South Africa and so to see the level of technique, style, sophistication among the six bartenders is, is incredibly impressive and so I'm, I'm quite taken by, by all six. In challenge four, we're taking the bartenders through a mastery of bartending challenge where we have four different facets. Firstly, we'll do an elimination challenge with regards to spirit identification. We'll do a written test where we put 50 multiple choice questions based on cocktail history, spirit heritage, and obviously um, complexity of the spirit itself. We'll then go through a cocktail identification where we'll put up 10 classic cocktails for them to identify without any reference into which cocktail would be presented to them. And then we we'll obviously do a botanicals identification challenge where we'll lay out 50 botanicals in front of them. They'll get to touch, smell and obviously taste these botanicals and try to guess exactly what botanicals they are.
When it comes to contestants, you know what? Every single contestant has been on their own journey. We've had some amazing storytellers. Dom has his own very unique brand of storytelling that is absolutely a pleasure to watch. There's been some fantastic drink making. It's very difficult at this point to be able to pick one guy out. They are giving each other a really good run for their money. I believe Dom won quite simply because he was consistent across all the challenges and specifically at the bar and the mastery, he definitely dominated that round. Dom is probably one of the most humble and one of the most honest people that I think I've met in the industry. He owns a bar, he runs a bar, he works a bar and he does hours behind the stick. Thank you to the contestants, it was an extremely cool week. I cannot wait for next year already. 